Hello, hello. Welcome to another episode of trying to listen to Arginelico and make sense of it. Today we're listening to exec over dot method under sublimination. Omnis sos infel. Now see, that's actually very beautiful. It's very art songy, very Debussy. It's actually really, it's actually really nice because this is actually very similar to art song and classical music and it's connected to that second solo instrument which is an oboe in this particular case. Uh, they are in a duet even though they're both soloists with this weird music underneath and the um, vocal quality is very pulled back. Very airy. Oh wait, there's another voice there. So, okay, so there's another voice. It's a call and response. There's an echo. There's there's a da 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 da. We go minor. Da 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 da. That's really interesting. So this is interesting because it has a church quality to it, but it dips in and it goes in different directions. It's constantly changing in in its um, key. It's an empowering song. It, it, it makes us feel like we are talking to someone we love very deeply and we're saying, you got this. Like you need to just trust that the universe has got to figure it out, that you can move forward on your own. You don't need anybody, you can do this. I'm curious to hear where it's going to go because I think it's going to pick up. <laughs> Little musical interlude, and actually they did say praise there, so it is it is a religious almost song. This is so interesting. Vasier rai vail your uteu eunfernia. The smile on your dozing face is so innocent, and sor quen art. Omnis crudea. There's this mix of Latin and gibberish. And your released joy turns into the song without sound. It's an exaltation piece. It's a piece about celebrating in purity and in, in like accomplishing great things. <laughs> Oh, 
how this vocally has shifted now, and now we're thrust into this pointed, uh, bordering a nasal. Now there's a big shift, but we, we bring the shift, yes, tonally, musically, but also uh, we bring it sonorally in the vocalism, and the vocalism is what aids it in sounding different. This is now harsh. The sky colored of the dawn trembles with premonition of beginning, of change, and that change may not be a good thing. Gone is the beautiful song that we were listening to earlier that was full of peace and hope and prayer. And now, even if people holding the fragments of the lost hope in their arms would disappear from deep inside the forest of shadows where the morning sun has never shined yet. <laughs> Do you hear how the violin and the harp here really exude this quality of um, peaceful tranquility? And that those are common instruments that we use when we're discussing peace. It's certainly the harp is like the instrument for peace. That is, it's like we have a little moment here in between where it's like, well, we don't know what's going to happen. But you know what? Life is beautiful. <laughs> dig the instrumentation here too because we're using piano and we're using some sort of like obviously it's a midi sound but we're using some sort of like mallet like vibraphone xylophone type instrument there so like i think that the piano that arpeggiation there that ostinato is giving us this feeling of a uh, peace re-entering it's it's very very delicate <laughs> So this is interesting too because now we actually have two things occurring at the same time. We have the melody line, and then we have this patter of the two feelings are they're intersecting now, which is really uh, fun and because it, musically it's interesting too. <laughs> It sounds like Paco Bell's cannon. That's funny. Very classical movement there. Whoa, we 
weird. It kind of just ended. Honestly, uh, you, you put that in a, in a church, and I'm not sure that someone could necessarily tell you that if, if it wasn't for the fact that the, the lyrics don't really make sense, that could literally be a church hymn. I have a hard time with Artanelico. I like it, but it's not my favorite because I, I, I don't know. I have a hard time like connecting my emotions to it. And I think they do a great job of painting a picture. And I think maybe it's one of these tracks that context really matters in order to like or like the whole game requires content in order context in order to understand it. It's not like it's bad music. It's actually beautiful, but it doesn't like speak to me in my soul for whatever reason. I enjoy listening to them because I think that they are like sort of this modern evolution of uh, church hymns and pretty much all of them, the hymnos have been really based on the structure of a classic like Catholic mass sound quality, which is really odd to say, but just from my experience in the Catholic church and singing and performing in many, many different denominations of church, this, this really stands out to me as a track that would absolutely benefit from a like 30 person church choir. Anyway, there's actually more Archonelical on the channel. Feel free to like subscribe. Thanks for checking out video game music with me and I'll talk to you later.